Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are doing a video this time on Star Trek Legends. <clears throat> You've been following this in my Discord. I've been playing this game for about three days. And as you can see in the upper left hand corner, I'm already level 47. So <laughs> I have been having a blast on this game. A couple of things about this game that you should be aware of. It is not available on, on Android, and I don't think it ever will be. This was made exclusively for the Apple Arcade, which is a collection of over 180 games on the Apple platform. You pay a subs monthly subscription cost of $4.99. And with that, you don't have to do any sort of microtransactions within the game. And I really like that. I really like that it's a very equal playing field. And it's just all about grinding away. As you can see, I have a very unorthodox bridge crew. <laughs> That's only because Guldicott is the only captain I currently have. So hopefully that does change. And I'll go into the bridge setup that I have here. Because it actually does matter. Uh, the bridge crew actually sets up a form of synergy for your away team. So this game is based on the Nexus Ribbon. You are on board the USS Artemis. It is a starship that was designed to enter the Nexus Ribbon and navigate through it. So basically, the story goes so far that we've entered the Ribbon and we are basically just trying to find our way out and find, trying to find all of our crews. So we have crews from all over the timelines, all over the time stream working together. As you can see, <laughs> that's on my bridge. So it has been a joy and a delight. And so I'm going to show you some gameplay. I'm not really going to get into the specifics of the game too much. I'm going to do that in some follow-up videos here. But I definitely just wanted to get this out to show you guys some of the gameplay. So the gameplay style is very basic. It's a it's a fighter. It's a four on four fighting team with different roles, being able to place different buffs, different classes, and using the strategy to kind of outdo your opponent. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into missions. And as you can see, I've already finished three episodes, fully explored them 100 percent. So the first one, we went into the Nexus. The second one, we were fighting the Gorn and the Romulans. And the third, we were fighting the Borg. And now we are trying to help Dr. Crusher find a cure um, for something ravaging the co this colony we're on. So I'm just going to go ahead and replay back through here. Oh, shoot, I can't. Let's, uh, let's go to this one here. I don't think I'm doing too good on this one because Worf is injured. So I did turn off all of the sound. The sound definitely does make, make the game. I, I think that's a bug when the camera just pans out in the middle of nowhere. Heal a breaker.
All right, that was the very first time I lost someone, but I had a feeling that was going to happen. All right, some resources here. So as you can see, some missions you do battle. Some Sometimes you are doing intel and you need certain skills to maneuver through them. That was close. <laughs> that was. Uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and, and level up again. So you know when you when you come across like something like this in this game, it's not so much a failure as you just you weren't necessarily prepared to go into it. So I'm definitely gonna go back and do some more leveling up there. But that is basically the game. I'm going to show you some PvP here, which I think it's kind of broken because it's super easy. So as you can see, these guys are super weak compared to my level. And this is a level 64 player. So I'm just going to go in here and show you this gameplay here. So what's really cool is they have the factions and they have the whole teams of the faction that you can actually choose from. So there's the Borg Queen and you can actually get a whole set of Borg teammates to use as a one solid team. Same thing with Romulans, same thing with Cardassians, and same thing with Klingons. Right now, this is my core group. I have other uh, crewmates that I am currently leveling up. And I'll go ahead and just show everyone who is available in the game. So there's a lot. There, there's a ton. And they all have, you know, specific classes. So in the science class, you have Saru, Burnham, and Data. And Spock, Paul. You have Soji in there. You, you have Yuhira in there, and I don't know why she's in that group. But all of these science officers are going to be able to do different things, and they have different rarities. And some have three abilities, some have four abilities, and I believe that's based on their rarity in the game. And not all abilities are equal. For instance, this was the one thing I was struggling with. I have Saru. He has a type 2 phaser, does 100% damage. I'm just looking at the level 1 abilities. His tricorder scan does a defense down on the opponent for 3 turns. We are Starfleet. He does a tech up for 3 turns. And tech up basically means he's increasing your shields, your phasers, any uh, technological weapon. And a 25% chance plus 1 morale to all allies. 50% chance if ally is Starfleet. And then the Vaharai, he shoots out those quills and does 200% damage and wounding. And wounding is a um, is basically a debuff that every time 
you do something when you're wounded, you actually lose health. But I was like trying to compare him to Data. And I'm like, which one should I be using here? And then, so Data has 100% tech damage. Then he has the Android backhand, which is 150% damage. 225% damage to cover, so that's their shield. And 25% chance to stun for three turns. So that's similar to the Valhari. The logical paradox is a minor attack down for three turns and a 50% chance to negative one morale. And the tricorder disable a scan and 50% chance to purge to all enemies. So very similar yet very different in their abilities and then we have spock and he also does things that are very different so i have to go through those and i have to figure out which science officer i'm going to be using because you do need to level up each specialty because you will need their expertise on missions so that's another cool thing about it but um this game has definitely grabbed my attention. I love that you don't have to spend anything on the game. There are currently events going on. That solo event was just added. So all of these events are going on. Let me go back to the crew. Because I didn't show you guys the ones I don't really have. So... They have the Borg Queen, Captain Kirk, Captain Picard, Khan, the Gorn. The Gorn is supposed to be incredibly good. Quark, Tomalak, Captain Sisko, Captain Janeway, Locutus, the Doctor, Beverly Crusher, Seven of Nine, Major Kira, Uhura, uh, Sulu. So, as you can see, there is a lot of characters that were added to the game. Keep in mind, the game came out just a week ago. So, I assume they're going to be adding more characters in the game. And then, for the Alliance, we have the Alliance Raid. And so, right now, we are attacking a Cardassian Galar warship and trying to earn points for these chests so right now we're focusing on their sick bay and attacking their sick bay, and uh, and that's that's fun. All of this isn't really that much time consuming. We send out shuttles. That's great AFK play. So that gives you you know amount of time that you can't use certain crew members, but you're leveling them up as you're sending them out. The bridge setup. Uh, this is. A work in progress as you earn more officers and change this around this will definitely change and grow with you and i just like that you can see it on on the main screen right there so that's really the the gist of the game and i gotta show you show you one thing here alliance activities so you chat in the form of emoticons and that's it. You can't actually type anything out. You can kind of see some Alliance activity that they do post. But that is, that's about it. There is no global chat. And I think they, they do that for the younger players. So, so far I'm thoroughly enjoying the game. I can see a lot what they'll be doing with this game in the future. But I definitely re recommend you checking it out on the Apple Arcade. It is definitely worth uh, checking into. And if you do end up trying it out and want to join our alliance to help us, because we need a lot of players. <laughs> we need a lot of players to do the alliance raids. So um, definitely check us out. And our alliance name is Tilly's Collective. <laughs> And uh, you can't really write in a name. You choose one word, and then you choose a second word, and you put them together, and it's and it's very odd. So that's the the way you actually set up your alliance name. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, and I will talk with you later.